Here we are, following Triss Pierce as he vaccinates badgers against TB. We're deep in the Shropshire countryside. Basically it's a live vaccine, a BCG vaccine, so it needs a, a dilutant put into it. Just mix it around. What we do just for biosecurity is we exchange the needle. So the needle that goes into the badger is a clean one, basically. Triss has now got the vaccinations ready loaded to inject into the badgers. He now moves through the farmland towards the badger traps. The idea is to keep the badgers in the traps for as little time as possible. When Triss gets to the site, it usually takes around two to three minutes to assess the badger's health, to inject it and also to release it back into the wild unarmed. The wickets that Triss is using now are to keep the badger in one place inside the cage. He is now vaccinating the badger. Well, that's, that's the easy bit. And now he's going to attempt to remove some fur from the badger like the and just to leave a small area which is slightly bouldered where he can spray with a special spray paint so that we can tell that the badgers have been vaccinated and we can release them straight away if they are trapped again. We're doing this so that if we, when we do the trapping on the second night we're not going to get the same badger or if we do we know and we can release them. And there it goes into the distance. We're now moving to the second location again in Shropshire. This is a young sow and Triss is approaching to give it the vaccination. Everything used by Triss is sterile. He wears masks and gloves to stop spreading disease. Here we give it a little encouragement to move out of the trap. And off it goes. Down straight back into its set. I'm Michelle Vaughan and I'm Secretary of Shropshire Badger Group. Earlier on in the year, we decided it would be a really good idea to uh, encourage farmers and the Badger Group to work together. And to that end, we thought we would offer a vaccination to the first six farmers who approached the Badger Group free of charge so that we can get the scheme up and running. And we're really pleased with the results that we're having. We're finding uh, that the farmers are very enthusiastic and it's certainly breaking down barriers between the farming community and the uh, badger group, which is great from our point of view. Uh, I think it gives us the opportunity to understand the TB situation from both points of view. And uh, we're very hopeful that uh, we can extend the scheme next year and continue working alongside the farming community with the one aim of uh, stopping this awful disease. Well, I'm chairman of Shropshire Badger Group uh, and the vaccination uh, project you saw going on this weekend uh, is the culmination really of about eight months of pretty intensive work by members of the group, um, about, a, about a couple of dozen people um, that have been able to commit time to it. 
um, and we've put together this package, this scheme um, of free badger vaccination for half a dozen farmers in Shropshire um, to try to show that badger vaccination is a, a reasonable way of dealing with the possible uh, of TB in badgers. Um, there are different opinions about the levels of TB between um, different badger colonies and all the rest of it. Uh, we don't believe there's that much TB in the badger community, um, but others would say otherwise. However, if you believe it's there and you want to get rid of it, there isn't any doubt that vaccination is the way to deal with it. We decided back in March of this year that we would try and present this project to the farming community. We tried previously to get them interested in, in badger vaccination but the figure that seemed to get into everybody's mind that, and they couldn't get it out was 622 uh, pounds a badger which is a figure that has been um, developed from the Welsh project. Nothing at all to do with volunteers and we wanted to show that if you put a scheme together with volunteers actually doing a lot of the the time-consuming work such as surveying and, and such as um, the deployment of the cages and the cleaning of the cages and all that sort of thing, you could actually remove a large proportion of that figure. Then you end up paying as a one-off payment for the equipment and then for the vaccine dependent on how many badges you actually get. Um, and we worked out that we'd probably be able to uh, run a four-year scheme for around about £8,000. Now we funded the start of that, the, the, um, the, the equipment and the first year's vaccine, vaccine, we funded that from our own reserves um, together with some donations from members themselves and we're now going to be looking for other means of funding the next three years. But we, we know we can do it, uh, it's just be nice if someone can help us. We've worked on the basis that we could fund uh, for six farms. Okay. So we would have to look at the farm themselves and, and the farm itself and see whether uh, what sort of um, numbers of badges are likely to be there and so on. We would probably go, as I said in my original letter in the paper, we would then look to the farmers to possibly fund part of it, maybe just the vaccine. The ones we've been dealing with have been excellent. Okay. They've been very open-minded, they've been very welcoming. We've been able to go onto the land, we've discussed everything with them of course, and explained everything that we wanted to do and would have to do. And they've, they've been very cooperative, very helpful, right. um, and just given us free access to the farms. Four years follows a government research um, projects about budget vaccine and they've worked out that in that four year time scale given there'll be some movement of badgers around the area not much but a little bit uh, they've worked out that uh, a four year program actually gets um, uh, about 75 percent of the badger population and that that's enough to provide the protection that we're looking to provide. There is a vaccine available, it's very similar to the vaccine that's available for, to badgers which in turn is uh, virtually the same vaccine that is available for humans. Um, and there is a project going on in Ethiopia with this vaccine but at the moment it can't be used in this country without uh, what is called the derogation from an EU directive banning it from being used. Okay. There has to be, the, the bit that you perhaps need to add is, there have got to be some field trials in this country first. Well, first of all, they could help by speaking to their own, the local farmers, any that they know, and, and asking them to maybe look at it and, and let us go and talk to them and see whether we can't possibly get them involved. We can't guarantee a free scheme, as I've just said, but 
we might still be able to guarantee them something that they would find to be acceptable. So that's the first thing. They know their local farmers rather more than we do. And secondly, if they want to make a donation to help us, um, the vaccine is the thing that's going to be the ongoing cost and each badger is roughly going to cost us £20 for the vaccine. So any contributions like that they can make, they can go onto the website, use the contact form on the website. Well, I've been a big believer in the general view that vaccine is the only way that you really can stand a good chance of controlling a disease. If you look into the human population, vaccine has rid this country of smallpox. It's rid this country of polio and it primarily rid this country of TB. There are one or two pockets still, but that's a different story. But by and large, vaccine is the way that the medical profession deal with disease. And they did it recently in South Wales when a lot of youngsters started to get measles. They went straight for a vaccine. That was the answer. And so it's quite obvious, without a massive, a massive research, that vaccination of badgers will be a way of providing the badgers with an enhanced immunity uh, to, to TB. Ultimately, I think they'll bring it in and, and vaccinate cattle. But for the moment, it has to be just badgers, and because we can help, uh, I think it will help the farming community to feel a bit more confident about the fact that uh, we're doing something.